Hey good people, hope you are well and you are finally in 2022, there is no excuse. I'm also telling myself that. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a work lookbook. Most of us are going back to work, even if it's not fully, it's mostly half working at home and half at the office. Due to COVID and the pandemic, I think people really let their work wardrobe like go down the drain because you're not required to wear official to go to work. So people didn't pay attention to it for the last, let's say approximately two years, but I need to go back to work. We need to go back and check our wardrobe. I hope your clothes fit, yeah? If they don't, then it's about time. We buy new ones and also just to update it. It is very important to have a capsule wardrobe when it comes to your work look because you spend 80% at work, so I think it's really important to have your work uh, wardrobe sorted out so that you're confident when you go to work and then you don't waste time in the morning trying to figure out what to wear and also it is just about looking good and feeling good at work so that you can focus at the job at hand. So a few things to consider when you're thinking about your work wardrobe. Number one is versatility. Your outfits have to be uh, worn in a few different ways. You know, you could wear two, three different ways. So then you don't have a lot of things. Number two, also always, always consider what is the culture when it comes to dressing at your office? What are the colors? So that you're not buying things you can then again wear to the office. Figure out your length when it comes to what you want to show, what you want in terms of your futures to stand out. If you want your body shape, if you want your height, ensure that you are careful and understand what you want to highlight because I feel your workwear should also reflect your personal styles, should reflect also your own personality. So as much as we have rules, guidelines, a bit of a personality should come through when it comes to makeup, figure out what type of makeup you want to have, accessories, ensure that they are minimal and just ensure that your clothes are clean and look good and they are of good quality to the last long in this video i'm also going to show you my monday to friday so on monday i definitely wear a red dress just to give me psych to start the week with a red lipstick i know most of you don't wear red lipstick to work but i don't mind it if i can understate the other whatever i'm wearing and wear a proper red color it also works but i don't mind i'd wear a red dress red lipstick i put my a game maybe i'll tone down with the belt and the shoes with this outfit i need to do a belt to cinch the waist and just to give me that psych to start you know a red number to start the week to show that you know um, i'm in business and um, i suck myself just to give myself a positive affirmation and start of the week so the red dress works for monday on Tuesday, I do a navy blue a pencil dress, and that's what I chose because the color is uh, more settled. Maybe I'm not even going for meetings that be at my desk, but I still want to do look good. No belt. This dress is just free, relaxed. It helps me to get at the table and work. I would pair it with same color of heels so that would just give that same toned palette so it's it's, it's mono the monochrome look it definitely has some a short sleeve it's short sleeve so good for this weather because it can really get hot especially in the afternoon in the morning if i'm going to work and it's cold i can throw on a trench coat i'll definitely do a monochrome look and throw maybe a trench coat that is navy blue to give that again monochromatic look definitely remove the jacket as it gets hotter it's generally so it's really really hot i'd also do, do a bit of accessories on the neck and you you know i love dresses i personally love dresses and it's like my everyday kind of outfit so this dress number two would be perfect for tuesday wednesday which is midweek which is a happy hump day wednesday hump day i would do a checked suit just to keep myself like i always say that clothes do really help me personally when it comes to how i feel i would do this uh checked suit it, it has a bit of character it's still a suit but a bit of character it's very comfortable i can remove the jacket under my desk definitely i don't want to walk around with the, the camisole but on my desk i can remove the jacket when it gets hot again it's very playful it has character this would be perfect to just give me psych to continue during the week because some Sometimes, if you're not careful on Wednesday, you can just have a slump, you know. The week it's starting, you had psych, so this suit would definitely work for Wednesday. On Thursday, I'm back to dresses, a classic black dress with a pen, oh, it's a pencil dress again, which work for my shape. So I do this dress, no fuss, very basic. I'd, I'd maybe even just pair it with black heels just to give it that monochromatic look. Thursday nowadays is the new Friday. I can see myself uh, maybe changing up my heels and wearing red heels, change my lipstick to a purple color 
add more jewelry, I wear a clutch bag in the evening and, and go for a cocktail or just a little catch up with my friends. Maybe Friday I don't need to wake up early to go to the office, I can check in at 10. So this for me would really work for Thursday. So Friday I'd be more relaxed, I'd wear a checked blazer which this is one of my favorite blazers I just purchased it a few months ago. I'd wear a nice slip skirt and then a black camisole just to be black on black and then the checked jacket to break it up. It's actually very relaxed. If in the evening I want to definitely maybe go for early dinner, a few drinks, definitely not too much because I don't want to go heavy. Because Thursday was again a day maybe I met up with friends. This looks really nice. I do some heels. And it's actually an outfit if, for example, at the end of the day you're tired, I can actually pair it with some sneakers, you know, like white sneakers or black sneakers if maybe there'll be a bit of dancing. So this is what I do on Friday. I don't know if people normally Whoever does go to work over the weekend, I do it easy. Uh, on this video, I didn't show you that, but maybe one of these days, I'm going to shoot a video showing you how to dress up for weekend work days. I hope you do enjoy this video. It would be really nice if you share with me what are your kind of outfits for work. You can see I'm dressing. I do wear prints. I wear lots of colors, although I still try to have a theme or try to make my outfits sort of for lack of a better word too much it would be really nice to know how is your work wardrobe looking like how is it going for you are you going back to work are you planning to revamp your wardrobe it should be a perfect time to just buy once and for all and always remember Rome wasn't built in one day so take your time and budget I know it doesn't come easy for everyone to, to create their wardrobe or to be able to pair clothes together or to know what works for their body shape or what colors works for them sometimes even what works for your lifestyle so don't need to worry but I are image redefined we are capable of doing this to you. I do offer image consultancy services together with my team. We can come and have this sorted out for you. And you can consultate on other things at a fee. I'll link here our website, our number. Kindly do get in touch and we'll definitely, definitely get back to you. Hope to see you soon this year. And Happy New Year again. We are told to top Happy New Year. So yes, have a lovely week ahead. <laughs> <laughs>